I have run a number of different types of company in my life. <clears throat> and most recently, I've, I've launched a company where I specifically designed it to deal with a specific problem. And that is the challenge of building strategy. Uh, most organisations take a five-year cycle, renew their strategy, do another five-year cycle, you renew their strategy. In the intervening period, competition gets in, gets ahead of the game, and <clears throat> you can be bust by the time the cycle's over. Um, so I started to look at how to make it simpler and make it so that it can be lived by the organisation, so that it's a monthly event, not a five-yearly event so that it's always being thought about, not only being thought about every three to five years. In doing that, I started to look at productivity. And I got a bit of a shock when I dug deeply and found that <clears throat> we weren't just a few percentage points behind the rest of the world. Um, and those percentage points weren't made up of false information, which is what I'd heard lots and lots of pundits say. They just calculate it differently. <coughs> Excuse me. I found that, um, that the gap was huge. So when you're looking at economics and you're looking at someone being more productive over a period of time and they are 10% per annum more productive than you, uh, by the time you get to year three, they've not just earned 30% more money than you, they have earned nearly 40% more money than you, and they've probably just taken over your business. Because as they get bigger, as they get stronger, they'll then go for growth by acquisition rather than growth by internal development. So productivity triggers off a hungry mechanism in businesses. You get good productivity, um, and you do it for more than two or three years, you immediately begin to think, shall I just keep doing this forever? Or shall I buy that company across the road and apply my great productivity to them? That's called arbitrage. It's an ancient process. You buy someone or buy something that's lowly valued, and then you add something in that makes them highly valued. That's why you see so many companies in the UK bought by American companies because the least they'll be able to do is to add in their greater productivity. The USA are currently 30% ahead of us in terms of productivity. Uh, why they are so is probably for another conversation, but <clears throat> if they buy a company, they've instantly got at least 30% arbitrage, less the cost and time of buying the business. So they're halfway there by the time they've taken over the business and usually on form ready to buy another business. So that's an area of productivity and an approach to productivity most people don't talk about. It makes you more acquisitive. The better you are at it, the more likely you are to buy another company and apply your great skills to that other company. <clears throat>